Well, good morning everyone. Welcome to another cruise day. Uh, it is St. Martin today, which I'm excited for. We've just grabbed a Starbucks and come to Central Park. Uh, we had a little bit of breakfast in the Windjammer, which was nice. Seems to be a little bit fresher in there, a little bit more calm as well, nicer setting. Uh, so enjoyed that. But yeah, caramel latte time. A little bit of a relax. It's currently 10 to 8 in the morning. We're allowed off the ship by about half eight. We're going to explore a little bit of the port. Maybe try and find somewhere with a bit of Wi-Fi to upload some vlogs. And then we have got that uh, taxi tour picking us up at 11 o'clock. I'm looking forward to that. A few different stops. The uh, airport beach. It's going to be hopefully a good day. A little bit overcast to start, but it did this yesterday and it burnt off and cleared up. So uh, I've got good faith. How's your coffee, Laura? Going down well. Yeah, I don't like the coffee on the cruise. It's a Lavazza. We don't like Lavazza coffee, so it's the only coffee I really, really like. Yeah, and they, well, they make it different. The Americans as well. They love to have the pot of coffee, yeah, which I just, I just not into. Yeah. yeah. So the amazing. Yeah, it is nice. So we've only had two, haven't we? Three. Yeah, we've had a couple, yeah. yeah I've not gone nuts. Not, not gone yeah, crazy. The world, yeah, you straight away said, let's do Central Park, <laughs> chill in Central Park with them. Yeah, Fresh Central air as well, Park. isn't it? Yeah. It's it's nice to get out of the air con sometimes, just have a bit of regular fresh air. So, we are off the ship and we are on St. Martin. Gonna enjoy a little bit of a wander now, see what's going on. Got a couple of hours just to enjoy before our tour begins. Hoping these clouds will burn off. I tell you what, it's lovely and warm when you get off though, when you get out of that air con. Warm enough for you, Laura? Really warm, really liking it. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, I don't mind walking when it's overcast like this. It's sort of fine by me. If this was baking sun and heat, be uh, I'd be end up getting burnt. So I don't mind this for now when we're just wandering around. Hopefully when we go for a swim and stuff later, the sun will uh, poke on out. Look at the carnival celebration just there. We're just uh, mooching through a few little shops, seeing what's going on in this little main town area. Gonna find somewhere for a little drink and a chill. It's just nice just to wander off, let all the madness go. So we have Dutch and the French side. So today we'll be doing a full tour of both the Dutch and the French side. And then after we're gonna go to the Maho Beach where you wanna see the planes. I'll give you some time there to see some planes, then I will take you with the Mullet Bay Beach where you can enjoy your beach time. It's a very nice beach, not too crowded, and very nice. The Dutch side is 16 square miles, and the front side is 21 square miles, so we have a total of 37 square miles. Go across the whole island, Dutch and French side. We also have over 100 nationalities living on the island. So we have people from all over the all over the world that lives on the island as well. That's all from one side to the next. And where I said Martin spelled differently, inside spelling differently. Alright, so now we enter. And we now enter into the front side. So when we pass back over to the Dutch side, we're going to meet a monument where they have uh, the flags uh, the year that the peace treaty was signed. So the, the Dutch and the French fought over the island for some years uh, in, the, in the early days. Uh, they, they fought to see who could take over the island actually. So they fought for some time until they, tired of, they got tired of fighting actually. <laughs> until they decided one day let's just share the island in two halves. Uh, everybody be satisfied. So in 1648, they signed a peace treaty between the Dutch and the French. And it's called the Treaty of Concordia. And that's how the island was divided in two halves. And which side did you get on? 
I live on the Dutch side. Okay, to the right over there, that's St. Bart's. St. Bart's is a French island as well, straight across. So yeah, when people stay on the island, they normally take a trip over to St. Bart's. You can get a ferry from either Dutch or French capital, 45 minutes. St. Bart's is an island that attracts a lot of celebrity and rich people on it. Okay, Laura, go on. Here we go. A little bit of a feeding session going on over the line. Go a bit forward. <laughs> oh, hey. You really feel it getting taken off. You can really feel the teeth going right through the, uh, the stick. Forward. Come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Took a sugar cane on the island. We had a lot of snakes on the island. Uh, so the workers in the sugar plantation, the place sugar fields, used to get bitten by snakes. So they brought in the mangoes from Africa. And the mangoes eliminated all the snakes. So now we have mangoes and no snakes. What are the mangoes eat? Mangoes love to eat like eggs and chicken, etc. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I question whether they will eat an iguana. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never seen it, but it's a possibility to have so many iguanas on the island. Yeah. I've never seen it. Oh, no? Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a small animal. It looks like something like a squirrel. Like a bit of a ferret. A long mouth with sharp teeth. Marina to the right, and those buildings are all the way back home on the Dutch side. So we're gonna go over to the Dutch side, go down to the Maho Beach. A A R T E N, my friend says, but M A R T I N. So now we are officially back on the Dutch side of the island. Go way back over to the French capital, Marigo. This is a, a swing bridge that swing past on either side and over on the far left you have a, a hotel and in front of the hotel you have the blue bridge that's where the boats enter from the ocean to the lagoon so between November and April it's full of big yachts here it's practically empty now so well here we go everyone this is very strange feeling watching this coming right at you it is massive air france wow whoa feels like it's gonna hit you wow that's insane whoa
Well, next up, we've got this jet flu about to take off. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be this beach. I don't know whether it's because the tide is in or not. But uh, it is quite unique, isn't it, Laura? Imagine if this was Tenerife, I'd be here all day, every day, wouldn't I? Oh my God, I know. I'd be here all day, every day. We're just live streaming here all day, wouldn't I? You would. I'd be doing everything. You'd actually smell the jet fuel as it flew right over you. So unique. Oh, it's such a unique view, that is. Go, oh, here's the next one. So cool. Well, here we go. This one is going to be taken off in this direction, but we are going to feel some serious jet blast. Are you ready for a bit of jet blast, Laura? I am. I'm ready to go. People have been blown back into the sea, so I am. I'm a little bit nervous now. Get ready for a swim, just in case. Just in case I'm ready. Watch that bag. <laughs> Let's feel the jet blast then, here we go. This could feel quite warm as well, this. We've got a jet blue heading off. Hold on tight, oh, everyone. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very unique, fun experience. If you get a chance to come and do it, definitely do. I wouldn't come for a whole day or even half a day, really, in my opinion. You've got the bar here. It's rammed. The beach is rammed. It's very, very hot. And the beach there's is not, tiny, isn't it? Yeah, there's not a huge amount of shade. So we're doing this as a little 20 minute, half an hour pit stop on our tour. Uh, would I come here for a full day? Definitely not. But if you can tie it in or even just come for like half an hour, an hour, it is worth it when you get those big planes. Yeah, because where in the world you're going to get a plane flying six foot above your head. I know, it is very unique. And yeah. then make sure as well, keep an eye on the schedule. You will get to see. There you go, American Airlines flying in there. Try and look out for those bigger planes when they're coming in. There was no big planes this morning, but uh, this afternoon, early afternoon, there's been quite a few big Amazing. ones coming in. Oh yeah, the noise out of them, can you hear Listen that? To that, yeah. And it's like being at the runway in Tenerife Airport, isn't it? I know, in fact, if I lived here, I'd be here all day, every day, doing live streams and everything. Yeah. I uh, do regular little live streams at Tenerife South, but there's a whole other ball game here. Uh, so we're jumping back in the bus now. We're going to be going up and checking out the fort that's just about 15 minutes away. Then we're going to be going to another gorgeous little popular beach, which we'll explain when we get there. Yeah. But yeah, very, very exciting. Here he is, Garvey. What did you think of the planes well, then? I've, I've just come out of the restroom. Yeah. And because like I'm a little bit away and side on. Yeah. You think it's going to crash into people? I know. It said it's, it's, it's like wow. You should have seen it coming full on. Oh, yeah. You feel like you're going to be run over. It says pity. It's so. Busy. It's very busy, yeah, uh, very, very. Yeah, very uh, I can understand why beach planes. It's are unique, yeah, very beautiful. unique. But uh, mm, what an experience! Just a bit. Blew me away. Oh, <laughs> right. Unique. So welcome everyone to Fort Louis or Louis, however you'd like to say it, and this gives us some spectacular views. Right down to the water, you can see the airport in the distance where we've just been. Stunning views from up here. It was a tough little hike up, wasn't it? Well, considering we've done nothing but eat for the last four days, yeah, definitely a tough little hike. Maybe if you're in better shape, it wouldn't be so, so tough. But yeah, yeah, worth it though. Definitely worth it. So the driver was saying that the peak season is from uh, normally about the middle of October through to uh, March, April, those winter months. <clears throat> in those winter months, you will see these marinas all full of big, massive yachts absolutely stunning to see got a couple in today but we are here out of season we're here in may so not peak season here believe it or not 
I think it's just too hot in the summer. People come for a bit of a winter escape when it's a bit warmer. Yeah, because it did say this gets a similar climate all year round. So when it's cold in the in the winter in like the likes of America, they come down here for the winter sun. Yeah. So this is America's Tenerife. Yeah, Canada as well. They come yeah. over. Obviously, you've got those uh, Air France flights coming in because there is those big French connections. Hey, do you like that? French yeah, connection. French connection. Name of an old yeah. store, that. But yeah, it is uh, nice to see from up here, you get a full scale. You see how greenery it is up in the hills. It does remind me a little bit of Tenerife in some ways. But I do like all these white sandy beaches. Some of these resorts look absolutely stunning to stay in. Yeah, I love how you've got a sandy beach, a marina, mountains, and what looks like a castle here. A French castle here looks yeah. amazing. You can just see everything from here. So this is just another little stop on our tour. Yep. And after this, we will be going to a lovely beach. I'm excited I'm looking for that. Forward to. I did get the name of the beach wrong at the airport. <laughs> found out afterwards. It was Maho Beach, Maho wasn't it? Beach, yeah. yeah. I said Morgan. And I've got another little beach stop and then it'll be back to the ship. We're going to explore a little bit more around that port as well. That'd be lovely, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to introduce you to our lovely driver, Larry, doing a great job today. Really enjoying the tour. What is your favourite part of the tour that we do? What's your favourite stop, would you say? I think this is the favourite stop. Yeah. This one because of the view. Yeah. And it's a breathtaking view overlooking both the Dutch and the French side. Yeah. Uh, you can see in the distance, even we are over at the airport. And, and then I think Maho was the second stop with the airport. Yeah. The planes. The planes is good fun, isn't yes. it? Yeah. I think that's the most, yeah. one of the most popular. Yes. So we've got the French and the uh, Dutch side. Yes. Where is this distinguishing line here? Okay. To give an idea, you see that bridge, the white bridge in the distance? Yeah. That's, that's this one here. Just after the bridge is the border. Okay. Just before the bridge. Right. That white bridge going over the water. Yeah, that's the divider, right? It goes straight down, all the way down here. Wow. Yes. And this is so that is so. This is Marigot. Right now we are in Marigot. This is the capital of the French side. Right. Uh, so we are overlooking the Fort Louis Marina, nice. right in the distance here. And down going down, you have sandy ground. Then you go down to Nettle Bay. Then you go all the way down to the Lowlands. Right. Yeah, Lowlands is an area where you have a lot of uh, celebrities uh, buy houses. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Does look nice down uh, there. Yeah, nice area. So we're currently in the French side, and then once we go past this white bridge, we'll be back into and the, the Dutch, side. Dutch side. Yes, yeah. correct. What's your favourite side, are you allowed to say? <laughs> both sides. I love the whole island. Yeah, yes. both... yeah, the island is unique and the people is friendly. Yeah. Uh, beautiful weather. They both yes. get on very well, don't they? Very we? well, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's just yes. a sign, really. Yes, <laughs> exactly, because, yeah. for example, although we have two halves, I say south and north, yeah. north and south, you know, so uh, Dutch and French, however you want to put it. Uh, even though we have two sides, we have one St. Martin's Day, which is on the 11th of November every year. Yeah. So the whole island celebrates one St. Martin's Day. So it shows the unity between the two sides. So two governments meet at the border crossing every year on the 11th of November. Right. Nice. And then we have a bunch of activities throughout the day. Oh, a yeah. great, everybody's having a great time. Nice. You know, a lot of fun, a lot of uh, p uh, party celebration. Yeah. yeah. St. Martin's Day, one people. So our next stop, we're going to, which beach is it we're off to next? Uh, Mullet Bay. You know, okay. Mullet Bay is my favorite beach. It's okay. a, a very beautiful beach. I mean, when the water is calm, it's like your pool. Crystal right. clear, calm, beautiful. Oh, and nice. it's, never, it's never too crowded and it's a good length. Yeah, because one of the airport there, it was great, but it is very busy, isn't it? Yes, so because the, the, yeah, the Maho Beach at the airport, that beach attracts a lot of uh, cruise passengers guests. Right. Yeah, cruise passengers, the guests, so they, uh, quite a number goes to the Maho Beach. So yeah. any day you have like two or three ships or more, it's tend to be very crowded. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing this next one. We're going to trust where you're taking us. I'm sure it'll be very, very nice. I'm going to leave all of Larry's information. If you are interested in the tour that we've done, I will leave all of the information down in the description. And uh, it's been a great guide so far. I'm enjoying the information as we drive around as well, yeah. all over the Tannoy system. Nice air-conditioned van. Yes. So uh, thank you very much so far, thank Larry. Thank you. All Appreciate good. you all. Very thank good. Thank you. Nice. So welcome everyone to Mullet Bay, just 20 minutes down the road here in St. Martin. And uh, just next to us, you've got a little uh, golf course. Looks a bit rough around the edges, but it uh, does look. It's the only golf course on the island. I would still love to play it. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice beach. This one's meant to be a bit quieter, gorgeous waters. So we'll uh, get everyone out of the van and uh, head on over, see what uh, nice beaches are available. Nice little dip, nice little refresh would be good. And thankfully, just driving around the corner here, very, very sunny as well from where we were. Here we are then, it's looking really nice on here. This is open from 9am uh, until 6pm. I presume you can rent your sunbeds, rent your umbrellas, 
Oh yeah, this looks nice. And look how many beds and things are available compared to the other beach we were on, which was absolutely ramoed. This one is uh, nice and quiet. You've got a choice of beds, choice of sun beds. Even a little rosy snack bar there. Oh, look at the water. This is what I'm interested in. I want to have a nice little dip, refresh and cool off. I love that the beds and umbrellas are different colours as well. Makes it a really colourful, nice beach, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all really clean. It looks really clean and really nice. Yeah, really well maintained. Oh yeah, that water does look really good. Oh yeah. Well, it's time for a little dip. Look how steep the sand is. A bit like at the airport beach. Really steep drop down. But, uh, oh, I can't wait to get into this water. That's got to be a good, really a six foot uh, steep drop, that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Quite a steep drop. So you're more than going to be able to get in unless it goes all no, the way No, unless you went round to the shallower part in. But, oh, my word, Laura, it feels amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. This is going to be absolute heaven. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that, that is gorgeous water right there. Oh, this is what you come to the Caribbean for. Lovely. Well, you can still have some good views of the plane taking off from here. Big American Airlines just gone off. Beautiful water, isn't it, Laura? I just realised it's like that big feet. It's just like, like the driver said, like a bathtub. I wonder what it would look like in a glass bottle, like to do that twist in. Oh, yeah, with really the glass be. bottle, yeah, that would be. Yeah, uh, it's a shame. It is so, so clear. You've got a few of the different yachts pulling up. They're doing their little swim stop here. And I'll just put you under and show you just how clear this is. Well, Scott and Jude have joined us in the water. You enjoying yourself there, Jude? Oh, Looking cool, eh? He's waving for the camera and everything. Hey! Splash, splash. Nice in the Scott. Oh, lovely and clear. Nice and uh, warm. Got yourself a little cocktail there, Laura. What have you gone for? Pina Colada. You've got to. Got to go for Pina Colada. And there's a lot of Bacardi in this, to be fair. That's a nice frozen one, isn't it, for a hot day like do you this? Do you do a frozen out here? Um, do you have a Colada mix? So you put the alcohol in it and then they mix it with the Colada, mix in the ice, so you get a nice frozen one. Amazing. Mm, nice. How much was that? For that, a Michelob Ultra and two bottles of water, 22. It's not too bad. So not too bad, no. Not too bad. Cocktail, bottle of beer. Two bottles of water. $22 on a beach like this, not bad at all. Yeah, and for the sunbeds, we're only here for an hour. We got, I think, six sunbeds, three umbrellas was $35 for an hour or so. Yeah, we, we haggle we down. We do yeah. haggle down, yeah. So if you do come, try and have a little bit of a haggle with them. Mm. They tried to charge us, charge us 35 or 15 per bed. Then it was 35 per umbrella and two beds. The price kept changing, so do yeah. bear that in mind. And then there was a man in the middle section trying to call us over, so... Obviously, they do like a, to uh, strike a bit of a deal. Yeah. So you enjoy your cocktail, Laura. Yeah, I'm going to dry off, rehydrate. Yeah, definitely. Very important in these hot temperatures. Make sure you drink plenty. We haven't drank enough today, Laura. No, no, we've got, we've got a bottle of water. We'll drink that as well. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, 20 minutes to get ourselves back on. We're heading on with some of the last ones. And uh, that was, fun fact for you today, two of the biggest cruise ships in the world docked right next to each other. The Carnival Celebration there is their newest ship. And uh, that is also one of the largest, along with Wonder, which is the largest. So, uh, been a good day for the island. They've had a lot of passengers and crew getting off, having a good time. But now it's time to get back on, relax shower and chill you enjoying your uh, cooling towel there it's, it's been a hot day hasn't it scorchio it has been hot has, yeah. 20 minutes left before the ship sails 
little bit of panic mode, sweating You've cobs here. 48 hours on this beast now, before you're off again. Then we're going to be heading into that storm over there as well. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to getting on though and having a shower. It does smell like home on there now. It's got a smell, hasn't it? I have to say, yeah. It it's got a nice smell as well. It does smell good. Welcoming is it? Yeah. Well, we're back. We're all showered. We're getting ready for our evening out. If you're wondering why it's a little bit of a mess in here, the uh, maid uh, room attendant, room attendant uh, was in here. Uh, doing a nice job changing everything but we needed to get in and get a shower and everything so he said he was going to come back so he's going to come back and finish the room that's why the beds i think is being stripped and everything they're going to change it uh, so yeah we're just oh. off i think to johnny rockets for dinner tonight we're going to get a nice burger probably pay for a burger and milkshake. um laura wants a milkshake as well so it'd be nice to round off a, a fantastic day with some nice food we haven't had lunch so uh, we thought we were going to buy lunch out we didn't so you know we'll buy dinner on the ship have a nicer burger uh, then what's on the buffet is what we're told so we're going to give that a go you can't get a milkshake on the buffet either yeah i'm excited overall really good day i really really loved that taxi excursion i'm not sponsored we didn't get any discount or anything like that but when someone's genuine like that great at their job the service was fantastic Loves his job. i will certainly give yeah. them a big shout out so i will leave the links in the description for him he was fantastic larry that's him that's his own taxi that's his job uh, he's got passion for it. The van was spotless. He'd even put the tyre shine on. He knew all the information. I loved his little headset, which was linked to the sound system in the in the minibus. So even if you were sat at the back, you were getting all the info. Amazing, yeah. And he was super flexible as well. Wherever you wanted to go, he was yours. Uh, so he was $50 uh, for f each for four hours is what we had. Uh, we gave him a nice tip as well. I thought it was absolutely worth it. I thought it was brilliant compared to the taxi we had yesterday. That was a much better service today, I've got to say. Um, there's a lot more information, a lot more service given, a lot more care. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday's was good, but today he took it to another level. Um, and he was asking you, how did you find me? Oh, TripAdvisor. And he was, you know, passionate about what he was doing. He cared about the reviews. He cared about having a, a good time. He, he was desperately trying to get us to... Uh, the port a little bit quicker so we had a bit more time to get stuff in the from the shops to get back on the ship so definitely give him a big shout out larry taxi it was called uh, i'll leave the information in the description uh, that's his card there and uh, yeah i thought it was really really good island tours beach trips shopping trips reliable pick up and drop off vip service and i would say it was definitely reliable and it was sarah bang on was time. contacting with him the whole time wasn't she yeah we uh she messaged him on my sister messaged him on facebook he was very responsive on facebook uh yesterday we messaged him again just to check everything was booked in we explained that we struggled a little bit for shade yesterday and gave him more of an idea of what we wanted to do today and he was dead responsive bang on it uh, we asked about a baby seat for jude he went out specially and bought a brand new baby seat. As he didn't have one, yeah. So you really can't go wrong with him. He was fantastic. I'll leave that in the description. Uh, yeah, we booked him independently, not through the ship. We've not booked anything through the ship excursions. We booked it separately. Uh, I do find that way normally a bit cheaper. But no, I thought he was really, really good. Really good. Uh, so that's it for now. Let's uh, go out for some din dins. Tonight as well, I'm very excited. Again, to cap off a fantastic day. Because this has been my favourite day so yeah. far, I think. Coco K was brilliant as well. They've all been good, but I think today was really good. Um, I want to go to, well, we're going to... The Comedy Club. The Comedy Club, it's yeah. I'm really excited about this. It's meant to be amazing. It's meant to be like... Meant to be good fun, isn't it? Just so much fun. Yeah. And there is 18 plus. This is adults only, yeah. So, looking forward to it. Let's uh, take you along with us. Let's go and get some dinner first. We're here at Johnny Rockets. I'm just going to show you the menu. You've got all the different sandwiches here. I might go for a chicken breast sandwich, I'm not too sure. Might have to go for a proper burger though. Might have to be. And then of course you've got these uh, milkshakes as well, which are very, very popular. The deluxe shakes, dessert, super sundae, apple pie as well. That's the full menu there, just to check. Oh, what do I go for everyone? Chicken burger or a proper burger? Rocket double. Mm. It's a tough choice go then Charles brought our amazing milkshakes there Laura come on then let's see if this is as good as a McDonald's milkshake what are you thinking is it good yeah he said it's not too thick not too thin the right consistency perfect yeah okay
Well, our order's in. Now, how it works, you will have noticed on the menu there was no prices. Yeah. It's a $15, think $15.99 cover charge per person. Yeah. And that gives you all you can eat from the menu. So you can just keep ordering and ordering. You can order about five burgers at once if you want to. If you really want to. If you're on the drinks package, your milkshakes, your soft drinks are all included. If you're not, the milkshakes were $6.99 yeah. each. Six or six dollars each. Six dollars yeah. each, which isn't too bad for a proper milkshake. No, it's not. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to obviously pay for my little Dr. Pepper there. But I think that's good that, $15.99 or $15. And all you can eat. So you can eat. Yeah, for a good hour and a half, two hours, have a nice oh, yeah, burger, have, have a nice Well, I've ordered a burger and a hot dog. I'm like, I'll have a bit of hot dog on the side. And yeah. yeah, if I just fancy a little bit more, and I fancy a bit of a beef burger, I can do it. And yeah. it's, what it's, what's nice is it's going to be fresh, off the grill, steaming hot, straight to your table. Yeah. Well, Laura, even the ketchup smiling at you. Yeah, it's a good day. It's a very good day. There's, uh, the staff are really, really friendly, aren't they? Yeah, it's really yeah, good. They do anything for you. Yeah. Well, here's my uh, hot dog and my chicken burger, which looks absolutely amazing. Sarah's double burger there looks really good. And uh, mum and dad have joined us as well. Look at that. Evening all. Yeah. Fancy yeah. a little burger and a hot dog, are you? Only after a busy day ashore. Right, boss. Awesome. Mountains and surfing and swimming and surfing. You know what I mean? Been a busy day. Been a busy day. Been For busy some, day. not you. <laughs> Chilling out in the bar. Listen, getting back to the port with 20 minutes to spare was not funny. Mr. Stressful. There's 20 minutes. Not enough. Here you go, here's our uh, chocolate sundaes. I've got uh, a little bit of the apple pie to try as well, but they look amazing. Wow, there's a lot of chocolate sauce. Just enjoyed a fantastic show in the comedy club. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Very adult themed. Don't go in if you're easily offended either. It goes just past the line. Yeah. So if you're easily offended, maybe give it a miss, but it was absolutely fantastic. Oh, really? Favourite yeah. show of the whole trip. Absolutely. Yeah. Ice, but that was really good, really I did also get to say a quick hello to Will from Trek Trendy in there as well. He's on board on the ship. Massive, massive channel that we love to watch. Uh, so I'm looking forward to watching his vlogs of the ship. But uh, we've now come to the Bionic Bar. Gonna get Laura a little drink from here. Yeah, we'll I wanna watch it in action. Are you gonna build yeah. your own or are you gonna pick like one of the top ones? You did like the look of the Bahama one? I think I might get the Bahama Mama. Right, yeah, okay. But yeah, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the vlogs previously, these are fully robotic, automated cocktail makers. These huge arms that look like they're something from a car factory. Make the drinks for you, shake it, everything. Okay, so, so let's get on a tablet and uh, we will make our drink, pick our drink. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, pop your card on, Laura. Of course, this is an upcharge. Oh, yeah. Tag your birth year. Okay. Please check. Here we go. So. Bionic signature or Bionic Classic? Let's, have uh, let's see what the signature ones are. Ooh. Blue Sky Margarita, that was a popular one. Uh, you got the ET. Ooh, what's the ET? We've uh, got the Fembot. From here to Orion. Ah, so there are star marked as well as to how popular they are. So you want one that's uh, this is quite popular, the moonlight. Oh, the sunshine is popular. Uh, then... Some different ones going on, isn't there? There's a melon ball there. Oh. Uh, well, I don't want to log out. I want to go back. Let's go back and we'll have a look classics. at classics. Long Island, the long, the the lion bionic classic is very popular, followed by the Cuba Libre as well. Sex on the Beach, very popular. I wonder if you can click on them to see what's in them without having to actually... Um... You've got non-alcoholic as well, so if you don't want to drink, drink, you can I have a non-alcoholic. I like the look of... Go on, what are you fancying? Either E.T. Oh, Midori, oh, Sprite, absolute nice. Yeah, let's get that one, Laura, because we'll try that together. Okay. Let's get an E.T. Let's phone home. Fourteen dollars. Yep, check service it out. Service charge. Service charge. Well, I hope he appreciates them tips. <laughs> hey, you can use that for a bit more WD forty next month. Well, it's gonna need it. It's <laughs> oh, oh, I'm excited. Oh. Here we go. Then order has been sent. 
Uh, we've got to wait three minutes. We can track the order of production. Estimated wait time is five minutes. We can. Uh, so we're in the queue, and I think it will uh, it will let us know when it's starting to be made. I'm, ex I'm excited though. It's such a cool, fun idea. Something different. It really is. So Laura's is about to be made now. We can see it on the queue list at the top. And then we get to see what is uh, going in to the drink. We get to follow the whole process. Oh, it's exciting. So it's now adding uh, ice to Laura's drink. Now producing the ET, ordered by, ordered by Laura E. Now it's adding absolute vodka. There we go, it's adding the absolute. This is pretty cool to watch this everyone, really is. Two shots of absolute in there, the vodka. Yeah, it's gonna be a strong drink. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we're now gonna be adding Midori, two Midori sours to this now. My favorite uh, drink, my favorite liquor, melon liqueur this one. Midori, going on in, okay. We're now gonna have Sprite, four Sprites is gonna be added to this now in there in our little uh, cubby section. Okay, it's now gonna add lime. 2.97 that's only specific. Oh yeah, very specific. A little bit of lime going in there. Okay. And then it'll be uh, shaky, shaky time, Laura, I think. I don't know it's gonna shake it, does it take some ice in it? I'll get it. Okay, let's see. Oh no, see, it's not gonna shake, it's gonna swell, that's nice. Clever, I like it. That's the first one I've seen ever swell, Laura, not shake. There it is, there you go. Right, now you go and tap your card, Laura, in a second. Yeah, no steps left. There we go. You can go and grab it, Laura, I think. Here you go. Oh, it's super cool, isn't it? What a cool feature that is. Let's give this cocktail a try. Come on then, Laura, this should be perfect. It was made by a robot. Should be absolutely spot on. Should be strong as well. Oh, it's strong. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to be bladdered, aren't you? You're going to be bladdered. I'm going to give this a go. It looks lovely. Right up my street. Love Midori. Flipping it. I know. It's like rocket fuel. Oh. It's the double vodka. Yeah. Love with the flavours of the Midori. But the double vodka is like. It is nice. I'll tell you what. One two of them. them. One. Well, but one of them, I'll be dancing like that robotic arm. <laughs> two of them. I'll be putting the big silver hat on. <laughs> well, we're back. We're done. we're done. We're ready for bed. We've certainly hit the wall today. The last two days have <coughs> wiped us out. We're currently coming to bed at half past nine. Half past... People are just going out now. I know. Crazy. People are just going out now, like, ready to, you know, have a little dance and that. I'm ready for bed, well and truly. Yeah, going to get suddenly in bed and sleep. Today was absolutely fantastic. The comedy club was absolutely hilarious. As I said, a little bit risque. Uh, but fine for us but obviously some of you may be a little bit offended by some of it but definitely adult themed no pictures or videos in there either so i couldn't show you any of it even if i was gonna not have the sound on couldn't show you anything um but yeah really really good good little setting as well it was intimate it was only i think 300 Two, people 200 200 people in the room so it was intimate intimate it did feel more like a bar feel uh, it was good definitely recommend getting that it's one of the most popular shows that and the aqua show I think are the two most top booked shows that you've got to get in there first, got to get in there quickly for them. Yeah. Hope you did enjoy that today. As I said, I'll leave Larry's information down in the description for the taxi. He was great as well. Uh, lovely guy. 
it'd be great if we can get him a little bit of business because I think he deserves it. He was really good. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, do please hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you've done St. Martin before, what would you do? What would you recommend? I did see they had the world's steepest zip line there, which I'd probably do again if I was ever stopping in St. Martin. Yeah, definitely. Do some cool well, quad bike tours as well. Though, if I remember rightly. Everything is, isn't it? Everything is yeah. on the cruises. But there's a couple of cool quad bike tours. We saw the, the little horse uh, tour thing going on. The horses in the ocean. Yeah. Uh, we saw different boat tours going on as well. So let me know if you have been. What did you do or what would you recommend? Uh, we will catch you tomorrow. I'm not sure how we're going to vlog the next couple of days. It is a sea day. So I might do one vlog over the next couple of days. Because I don't think there's going to be a huge amount going on. A lot of chilling and a lot of editing. Yeah. But uh, thank you all very much. Do please hit the thumbs up. It's completely free. Uh, make sure you join us on the channel. Thank you very much. And we will catch you tomorrow. Cruise on. Hi, guys.